In this video, you will learn to convert the survey developed in Microsoft Word to Google Drive. For that purpose, first of all, let's see the sample survey in Microsoft Word that is already prepared. And from here, some question has to be copied to the Google survey. So Google survey is especially a form and we sometimes feel difficult to convert Microsoft Word to Google directly. So we do have a indirect method. So look at here, you can see here some of the questions developed here. And this is the instruction for users. I mean the respondents and then here are the questions. For example, this is a variable, the sex is a variable, then this form is not going to work directly to even copy paste. The Google doesn't accept, so it will take long time for us. So to minimize our time, so we go to changing this kind of question in comfortable format. For that purpose, let's see, I have another example, sample survey. Here the same question is, reorganized and you can see here like sample survey and this is gender and then all options are in uh, list form means whenever we have a question and then options then we need to keep them in a line single line so in each question if there are options then you make this way that's how you can work out even for example if it's a case of like indication strongly agree disagree that kind of uh, indications and this one represents strongly disagree and five indicates strongly agree then you can list one to five and the options associated or statements again you can list this way so once you create this way or you create this this kind of form of original form here this was the original form to be distributed in printed copy now you go to google form so for google form i have already opened this but you can simply go to your gmail and click on this icon and then go to drive when you go to drive then you can go to the my drive and you can create a folder survey to create new folder in google drive you can use this option new folder or you want to upload the file then you can use this upload file and the folder upload then you can use this and the rest if you want to create google doc document microsoft word equivalent document in google then you use this the same way excel equivalent document then use this google sheet the same way google slides means powerpoint equivalent uh, application here in google slides the same way our target is the google form and there are more options as well so what you like you can go even sites google maps drawing and so on but our concern here is the form so create a form into this survey folder okay and this folder creation i already told you you can use this and now go to google form and click on this it will create a form untitled and it's a survey you can write as survey and give instruction here for uh, you copy the text from um, this this file can be closed but you use this one the formatted one this is sample and you copy this all and control c Control C copy and then Control P paste. Now this is instruction, okay? And also you can maybe um, yes. So survey. This is a title and then I, even here if you click, then this title goes automatically over here. The title of the survey form. And now you can simply click here in the plus sign to add the questions. So it's to add the question. And you can also explore here this is importing questions if you have a questions then you can import 
well this import option allows you to import the question that from previous survey from the google itself and this is a add title or description if you want to add then use this and then if you want to insert image within the question survey then you can use this and if you want to add videos then you can use this option and then if you want to add the section here then you can add use this option now let's go to the question this is the on title question normally in surveys we don't collect uh, personal information such as a name phone number or email these are not actually ethical to collect from the respondents so form collection should be anonymous that's why you go to the question here okay for example in our survey we have asked the gender okay then you can simply come back and then control paste so this is a gender now it, it, it will google artificial intelligence will always uh, give us some suggestions you see then you can use female male not to prefer then that's done it's all for you and it's multiple choice type of question okay multiple choice question and now you can go to next question for example we have here um, the age in years so this is not the multiple choice you can simply copy and then add here a question and if you want this option required compulsory then you can make it required and if you want to delete then you can delete and if you want to make the same question duplicate then you can make it duplicate right so that's how it works or delete then you can delete okay so there are three options only we used female male and then not prefer not to say that's google has given us automatically and there are option what type of question is it now let's add one more question the more question is about age in years copy and then paste here okay age in years yes google will identify it's a short answer yes of course and your respondents will enter the value here maybe 20 years 35 years or something like that is a number so what type of answer would come here is a number yes of course and then uh, it also will be required the same way the same way you can add another question and go here and copy this but here the the essentially the highest qualification i think will not be suggested by google uh, you have to do it yourself now control v this is a question highest qualification of course it's a multiple choice question and there is no suggestion because google's artificial intelligence doesn't work here um, because it may be different context to context so now you can simply copy this slc intermediate and this all should be in a single line Control c copy and now paste in option one if you paste in option one all options will be automatically pasted you see slc intermediate bachelors so that's how it comes so you don't have to be worry about creating option one by one simply copy paste works the same way go to the next question and if you want to make some editing then you can come back and then click here and then if you want to make it required means compulsory then turn this button on every every time and then once if the required is selected then a star sign comes over there automatically now highest qualification now let's go to the next question next question about teaching experience in years so this will also have no options to select now go back here and then in this question control paste and google will understand it's a short answer question yes of course if you want to change this then you can use this option what type of question is it about okay there are multiple type of questions like short answer paragraph multiple choice checkbox drop down file upload linear scale multiple choice grid and then check box grid date and so on and also time now let me go back to the questions and then copy 
another like for example teaching experience and now come back to this Google add another question um, and add another question this is about teaching subjects and teaching subjects we have two options or you may have multiple options as well so these two options and if this these are the kind of multiple choices or only one to choose then if only one to choose then that's fine multiple choice if both some people may teach or I mean some teachers may teach both mathematics and science in this case you can simply click and then make it checkbox so that math and science both can be checked by your respondents so that's how it works in the form so take care when you allow to check both the options then you use checkbox if you allow only one option to choose then use multiple choice now the next question let me go to the next question and let let's make it compulsory and let's go to the next question is about the label label of the current label means it's a pre basic or secondary if you have kind of options for this add a new question and control V and now options options are pre basic and secondary let's allow only one option to choose then come to the option one and control V paste see all three options are updated automatically and now you make it required if then users or the form respondents needs to fill up it without filling this they cannot move ahead the same way you can again go to another school type let's see school type copy this question and then come back to this google form and add more and this school type also we do have three options right the same way we do have three options okay control pass this this is multiple choice yes and make it required and also if you want some more information and more you want to type over here then you can do so okay so in, that's how it works google form works that the way now understanding like it, it, it's a monthly salary also is there then you can copy this and come back add one more question it's a multi monthly salary Mm, then you can give in RS or something like that so it depends on dollar or euro whatever you want then that's also fine it's a kind of number okay now if you want also description to show then you can click on here and let's add more question and let's go to back and this is what understanding professional development activities choose correct statements means multiple they can choose multiple statements okay so let's paste this one and let's make it multiple choice means they may select more than one option first of all copy this all you don't have to be worried and then simply paste in the option see all options are pasted so in each line you have to create options okay and this should be kind of checkbox because users or the respondents will check the, them one by one and now go ahead further and this is about another question okay write as no is written here then you can simply copy this first of all yes and let's make it in a tricky way first let's make it compulsory and then now go back to this question and paste here now it's it's about s now okay let's let's uh, let's come back to copy this all because it's about s now okay then let's make it s now 
choose not right choose choose s yes or no now s yes, no maybe but it will have a different thing we we need to make a grid kind of thing like not it's a checkbox grid or multiple choice grid then either yes or no if they want to check or yes also no also then multiple check grid but this is applicable here now it's a row in the row side you simply select these statements okay these all statements you copy and then paste here okay yes this way now in the column side that's column side make s yes and no i i actually have not made it then you can make s yes and then no and copy this both options and then paste them here in column side yes done now make it compulsory that's all now add one more question see this is how it works see professional development activities yes and no either one they can select okay if you had selected like this one check grid then they could check this s yes also no also okay that's how the google works for you and the same way again let's go to this one and let's copy this please read the following statements one indicates strongly agree then now there are two options one you can do you can you can make this way and one works this linear scale so one to five then you can uh, label the things means uh, you have to copy this this statements right but i prefer not to do this in a straight line but i prefer uh, this this kind of uh, you know grid multiple grid same as we did before okay now you can click on this and control v yes that's how it works and now this side in the column side you, you can copy this all one to five and you can write here one to five yes and make it compulsory if you want otherwise then add more questions if you want yes that's how it works this is a statement and this is option okay then it will be visible when uh, it displays okay now um, you can also ask some additional questions to your this is already end of the survey now you can also add some questions additional questions right so um, you can ask people to write some open kind of questions then you can use this at the end okay but i don't want to do so here let it be over here but it means like that that will be this kind of questions okay short text question so monthly salary that's a short text question and then um, the same way um, age in year short text type of question right that's how it works now our survey is ready to share now how to distribute this survey that is also important thing to understand for that purpose you need to simply go to send option okay or if you want to view this preview then you can click on this and how it looks yes this is how the survey looks for your respondents see this statement and as no options and this statements and the rating one two three four five yes this and then finally they can submit the survey i will show you in the next part how to share the survey and how to collect the information and download that in excel sheet thank you very much for watching if you like the video don't forget to subscribe our channel and also write on the comment box if you have any question.